These sonnets as I wrote them are obviously about certain kinds of threats for one in my body, but also uh, women in the world, uh, alternative people in the world. Um, so the assassin keeps shifting. But also in that notion is things that just uh, kill me with a certain kind of joy. So Baldwin would be one of those figures. James Baldwin is someone who um, thrills me to the point of uh, ecstasy, I suppose. And what I most enjoy about James Baldwin's work is the, the spectrum of the kind of beauty that one finds in his short story, Sonny's Blues, and then the kind of political intensity one would find in another short story called Going to Meet the Man. Um, Sonny's Blues is about jazz, is very intimate, um, a brother writing about another brother, and the later short story, Going to Meet the Man, is in the voice of a, a racist white sheriff who uh, has witnessed the lynching and is recalling that through most of the story. So that spectrum for Baldwin, it, it just means that he can do everything. He can write beautifully about politics, he can write politically about beauty. And so for me, he's just a great model for um, work that covers the full spectrum, the overlap of what it means to be uh, human, um, African-American, uh, contemporary. He just remains a good muse through all kinds of situations. Here's a sonnet about the ways James Baldwin uh, assassinates me with joy. American sonnet for my past and future assassin. Seven of the ten things I love in the face of James Baldwin concern the spiritual elasticity of his expressions. The sachet between left and right eyebrow, for example. The crease between his eyes like a tuning fork or furrow, like a riverbed branching into tributaries, like lines of rapturous sentences searching for a period. The dimple in his chin narrows and expands like a pupil. Most of all, I love all of his eyes and those wrinkles, the feel and color of wet driftwood in the mud around those eyes. Mud is made of simple rain and earth. The same baptismal spills and hills of dirt James Baldwin is made of.